Amazons. I am back with a new comic review, as we do new comic reviews. And I have a recent book here that I want to talk to you about, and it is Wonder Woman Annual 3 from Steve Orlando, and the artist is V. Ken Marion. Batman V. Ken Donna Marion. So, uh, what's going on here? Now, this is connected to the whole big event Leviathan thing that's never-ending over at DC. Apparently, it's all over the place, and you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a event Leviathan. So, what's up? Now, uh, we start uh, with an action scene between uh, Grodd and Wonder Woman, then we cut uh, to five years in the past, or one year in the future, I can't tell. So, anyway, Wonder Woman is rescuing uh, this child from this, uh, let's see, these Nazi headquarters, and... Uh, I'll get to the art in a second. Anyway, uh, she is orphaned in this whole battle, so uh, she, Wonder Woman helps find her like an adopted family. Uh, she, in turn, grows up and joins the same uh, team of uh, U.S. soldiers, uh, spy organization, uh, Argus, that uh, rescued her, and she wants to prove herself being a great soldier. She's uh, Helen Paul, and we get to follow like, her adventures alongside of Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor, even though we have not seen any hint of her at all in the Rebirth series. Uh, so anyway, we follow them on a mission to take out uh, Gorilla Grodd, because he has taken over Gorilla City uh, in recent, uh, in, I believe in the recent books with the whole event Leviathan stuff that's going out. Uh, they have sent in a spy uh, to kind of, like, infiltrate him. Uh, they're busy rescuing him. But essentially, they actually kind of end the day realizing that they were kind of technically in the wrong because he has legitimately taken over Gorilla City, and there's really not much they can do about it. Uh, so essentially, they just peacefully end the situation. Uh, that's when Wonder Woman and Helen have a nice conversation about how, you know, she's so proud of the woman she's grown up to be. And then we cut to two weeks later, uh, Leviathan strikes, uh, where he approaches Helen and tells her, Hey, you know what? Your parents weren't really nice people. They, they were actually Nazis, and they were going to totally surrender when Argus killed them. So, you know what? You know, maybe you should, you know, consider this whole Nazi stuff. So, uh, you know, just lay it out there for you. And, like, she finds out that, like, I guess Wonder Woman and Argus knew about that. Uh, didn't really tell her. And, of course, her, her, the only option she could have been was become, uh, let's see, Paula Van Gunther, War Master. Um, now, this is an interesting surprise, because, uh, this character is like an old like Wonder Woman villain. You've seen her pop up from time to time. Uh, we haven't seen her pop up since the recent continuity shift. Uh, so, okay, I appreciate the uh, effort in trying to like weave her into uh, the Wonder Woman narrative that you have here. My big problem is how it's done. Uh, this is normally Steve Orlando is a really good writer, really strong Wonder Woman writer. Matter of fact, there have been times where I thought whenever G. Willow Wilson leaves, which I understand she is supposed to be leaving not too long from now, he would make a good successor to her. But now, I don't know, this is not a very, uh, I'll be honest, this is not a very good script. Because there is no seeds of doubt planted in Helen's mind throughout this whole thing. The whole issue is about how awesome they think each other are. You know, there's, you know... And, of course, we've never really seen Helen up until this, so this is all we got is, like, hey, all right, you saved my life and helped me find a family and everything's cool. I'm fighting alongside of you for the good fight. And suddenly, like, this guy shows up, Event, Le uh, Event Leviathan guy, who, look, I'm sorry, look, this guy shows up and says, hey, your parents were Nazis. You know, maybe you should be a Nazi. Like, hey, you know what? I'm good. Uh, let me look into this, but, you know, I'll, I'll make my own choices, event Leviathan. So, uh, not really the turnaround on this from, like, good guy 
to Super Nazi is ridiculous. And there's actually, there's nothing during all this fighting to, like, show any kind of hint that she might turn like that, or any kind of, like, real serious issue that, you know, Wonder Woman and C. Trevor have been, like, like, overlooking, or not paying attention to, or being, like, dis- o- openly deceitful to her about, um, so for her to turn this quickly is kind of ridiculous, um, and I don't know, it's just, when we, I, I had this feeling something like that was coming, but I thought it would be a little bit better portrayed. Um, also, the art is mostly good. It has that kind of like, uh, you know, well done 90s action, you know, sharp edge, uh, extreme feel to it, but not, but, you know, the, uh, the art is mostly like on the stronger side. I guess the only problem is, uh, Marion has this one issue with drawing children that a lot of uh, comic artists sometimes fall into, where they put, like, an adult head on a child's body, and it's just kind of wrong-looking. Uh, other than that, you know, the art, I think, is really good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not a fan of this issue. Uh, really disappointed. I'm not quite interested in seeing what War Master does. Uh, from here on out, and I haven't been reading the event Leviathan stuff, so this kind of makes me glad I have not been picking it up. Uh, so I'm going to give this uh, a two out of five ram chips. Um, not afraid I wasn't really uh, impressed by it. Uh, did you like it? Uh, have you read it? Uh, have you been reading any of these event Leviathan tie-ins? Uh, what do you think of them? Uh, you can let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Comic Universe. And click the notification bell so you can know when we're uh, laying out videos for you. And, of course, don't forget, I am a YouTuber on myself, myself so you can check out my channel, uh, The Real Manos. And I'll uh, put, a, put some information below, I guess. All right, I think that's it now, so push the button, Lindsay.